بتاعكم باك اجين تو اورجانيك كيمستري هالو الكينز ار كومباوندز ويز هيدروجين اتاتشد تو ا كاربون سبستيوتينج ا هيدروجين اتوم فروم ذا الكين اند دي ار بريبيرد باي رياكشن اوف الكوهولز ويز فوسفورس بنتا كلورايد ات روم تمبريتشر تو جيف ا كلور والكين اتش سي ال جاز ويتش ابييرز از وايد سموكي فيومز اند فوسفورس اوكسيد تراي كلورايد Uh, alcohol can react with hot red phosphorus and iodine which together form phosphorus triiodide to give the phosphorus acid and uh, three molecules of the iodoalkane. Now alcohol can react with the HCl gas which is prepared in situ by reaction of sodium chloride in the solid state with concentrated hot sulfuric acid. These together with the release will release the HCl gas that will undergo the nucleophilic substitution with the alcohol, nucleophilic substitution reaction to give chloroalkane plus water. Also, sulfur dichloride oxide reacts with alcohol to give the chloroalkane, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen chloride gas. Don't forget the appearance of this gas is the white misty fumes, and the four reactions are nucleophilic substitution reactions. Don't forget also that three of these reactions occur by heat with reflux, except reaction of phosphorus pentachloride with alcohol. This needs only normal conditions of room temperature. Haloalkanes are primary, secondary, or tertiary. Primary haloalkanes react by nucleophilic substitution reaction of the second order. This mechanism and other mechanisms I will put later, inshallah, on Facebook. They are already on my page. You can refer to them. Tertiary, tertiary haloalkanes react by nucleophilic substitution reaction of uh, first order. And remember that haloalkanes can react by nucleophilic substitution reactions with aqueous sodium hydroxide of any group, uh, sodium hydroxide, sorry, in aqueous medium. Remember, any group one or two hydroxide can perform this reaction with the haloalkanes. They can also react with ethanolic ammonia, ethanolic potassium cyanide, by also nucleophilic substitution reaction, but the reaction with the ethanolic sodium hydroxide, uh, I'm sorry, what did I say now? I repeat again. Uh, no, don't stop. <laughs> they react with ethanolic ammonia, ethanolic potassium cyanide, and these are also nucleophilic substitution reaction. Uh, re the reaction with ethanolic sodium hydroxide is called elimination, and an HX molecule will be eliminated to produce the corresponding alkene from the haloalkene. You have to refer to these reactions at times. Now we are very late at night. I can't explain this. You can go through the internet and look for them or in your textbook. Alcohols can uh, be classified according to the position of the hydroxide group. If the hydroxide group is attached to a carbon carrying two hydrogens, it's a primary alcohol. If it is attached to a carbon carrying one hydrogen, it's a secondary. If the hydroxide group is attached to a carbon carrying no hydrogen, it's a tertiary alcohol. Now, uh, primary alcohols can be oxidized to the aldehydes. Aldehydes can be oxidized further to the carboxylic acids. Secondary are oxidized to ketones, which cannot be oxidized further to anything. Tertiary alcohols do not undergo any oxidation reactions. Oxidation of okay. here. Sorry, oxidation occurs by acidified potassium manganate or acidified potassium dichromate. Alcohols can uh, undergo elimination reaction with aluminum oxide or silicon dioxide or hot concentrated sulfuric acid to form the corresponding alkene. Alcohols can react with sodium metal to give a salt plus hydrogen. If the alcohol contains one hydroxide group, half hydrogen mole will be produced from one mole of the alcohol. If the alcohol carries more than one hydroxide group, the product will differ. The amount of hydrogen gas will increase as number of OH groups increase in the alcohol molecule. 